Welcome back to the channel. Oh, what a big week we have had in the world of music. Uh, one of the biggest bands of the last what, quarter century. One of my favourite ever bands are back. Linkin Park. Unbelievable. They just dropped everything on us all at once, didn't they? They did a, an hour-long live stream, um, which I have watched now three or four times. I absolutely love it. Uh, we've got a, a new lead vocalist with the band. We've got a new album. We've got a little mini world tour as well. How the hell they kept all this secret is just unbelievable. Um, this is a bit of a different kind of video because, as I say, I have watched that live stream uh, a few times now, which means I have heard the song, The Emptiness Machine, I have heard it. Um, what I haven't done is I haven't watched the video. So it's going to be a good little backdrop as I just, you know, I share my my thoughts on, on the whole situation and how exciting things are. And um, yeah, so we're going to kick this off. As I say, I'm familiar with the song. I don't know it word for word yet, but I am familiar with the song. I really like it. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm i looking forward to seeing the video. I, I don't know if it's a visualizer. It says official music video, so I assume it's a proper video. Um, I just loved it all the way right at the end wasn't it it was between the last two songs between um, uh, it was paper cut wasn't it and then he, he announced the video had dropped the single had dropped the tour was on sale uh, all while everyone was in that building watching the live stream and then they went in to bleed it out which the opening few lines in that song made me think maybe not a great choice of a of a song to finish with uh, considering the circumstances surrounding uh, Chester uh, all those years ago um, but yeah, let's uh, let's just get into it then. It's the emptiness machine, the uh, the official video. This is my first time watching this. Um, but as I say, I just wanted it to be a bit of a backdrop. Your blades are sharpen with precision, flashing your favorite point of view. So good to hear Mike back. I know you're waiting in the distance, just like you always do. Just like you always do Already pulling me in Already under my skin And I know exactly how this ends I let you cut me open Just to watch me bleed Gave up who I am for who you wanted me to be Don't know why I'm hoping For what I won't receive Falling for the promise of Emptiness machine. The emptiness machine. So, obviously, as as you now know, the uh, the new vocalist is a, a female vocalist, uh, Emily Anderson. Um, I I ne I I'll be honest, I'd never heard of her. I'd never heard of her other band, was it Dead Sarahs or something, wasn't it? I, I've never heard of her. Um, and this just took me because UK time. I think this all start of happened really, really late at night. Um, our time. It's like 11 p.m. or something, and it just everything just dropped, as I said. And then we had the whole backlash uh, at Emily because, you know, she's uh, apparently a Scientologist, which okay, and um, and then there was the whole uh, thing with um, with that dude from that 70s show, I can't, Danny Masterson, wasn't it? Um, you know, which she came on, and I'll I'll chat about that in a bit. But we, her, I, the reason I pause it there is because obviously her vocal comes in now, uh, or in a second, and um, I love it. I love her vocal. I think they have picked an absolutely belting replacement for uh, for Chester. I, I bet we've all done that at work, haven't we? Pretend to be busy.
So I just wanted that bit to play her first kind of big vocal chorus with the uh, with the band. Um, as I say, I really love the vocal. I think they have picked an absolutely sensational uh, new front person. I really do. Um, I know Scientology is a controversial thing. I'm going to be honest. I couldn't give a fuck. I, I'm not. I'm not religious in any way, shape, or form. I don't. I don't care what religion. You know, as long as as long as you're happy, and as long as I'm happy, and as long as we're all happy. I don't really care what you do. In terms of the whole Danny Masterson thing, look, she put a statement out, didn't she? Um, you know, she got a backlash. She went, from what I can understand, she went to court. Um, she was, sounded like she was friends with him. Um, so kind of went as a show of solidarity and then quickly realised, whoa, this is fucked up and I need to distance myself from this. And since that day, she's never spoken to him. He's he's in prison doing 30 to life um, and rightly so as well. And, um, you know, I the fact that people the way I see it the people that went after her for that are the people that don't want this reunion in the first place they don't want Linkin Park still out there making music for whatever pr probably just because Chester's irreplaceable and Chester is irreplaceable there's absolutely no doubt about that he is an iconic frontman sensational singer wonderful wonderful stage presence I had the pleasure and the the joy of seeing them literally 20 days before he died um, at the O2 in London and it was a phenomenal gig and I was absolutely distraught and heartbroken when he died and I was so so thankful that I went to a gig because it would it was just never going to happen was it you could never do it again um, for the people that don't want Linkin Park to carry on why these are guys that have you know, they spent their whole lives learning instruments, learning the art of songwriting, of music making, to carry on doing something that they love. And why should they not be allowed to do that? Under the guise of the band that they've got a huge history of being part of. You know, I mean, I, I'm a an, an OG fan, if you like. I've, you know, bought Hybrid Theory when it came out because I loved In The End. Um, and I've, I've really liked them ever since. I loved uh, Meteora, loved Reanimation. Didn't particularly like all their electro, more electric stuff, but I loved the fact that they'd done something completely different. Um, loved Minutes to Midnight and really, really loved uh, One More Light, especially, you know, to on extra poignancy after Chester's death. And, you know, I, I did wonder, should they have started up under a different name, you know, the same lineup and, and Emily? And But then, no, why? Because they've got this huge back catalogue that, what, they just should drop and just start again? No. You know, if, they, if they're if they happy going... They obviously own the rights to all these songs. If they want to carry on playing them, they should. And if they can find someone who can do them justice, then happy days. And judging by that live stream, she can do these songs justice. So I, you know, just... If you're, if you're not happy with the reunion, just don't listen to them. Just stay off the internet. Stop trolling. Just don't listen to them. If, like me, you're really excited by this new, this new uh, venture for them, then get on board. Loving it. Um, right, I've waffled for a bit. Let's listen to a bit more. I do like all the glitches and everything in the video. Again, just Linkin Park just put out some great videos. And that's a massive thing as well, isn't it? That line, I only want it to be part of something. And that resonates even more now with the backlash that Emily faced and the rest of the band members you know it's been seven years it's been it's been long enough you know it's time it's time to get back out there it's time to get you know this this was these guys livelihoods that they've lost for the last seven years you know and now they want to be part of it again so what's the issue This uh, this back this kind of stage type it, it it looks like where they did the live stream doesn't it did they film the video in there?
it's just a great song to come back with. It really is a great song. I, I absolutely love it. Um, I absolutely love as well that they've called their new album that's coming out in is it October, I think, um, that they've called it From Zero, which was their name before Linkin Park. I think it was Zero with an X, but it's it's a nod back to their original name, isn't it, before they became Linkin Park. I love the first, what, 40, 45 seconds of, of the song, uh, a mic doing a little rap, introducing everyone back to the band. And it worked really well on the live stream as well, because, of course, she, uh, Emily, walks out uh, during that little instrumental bit before her vo- her verse, it's kind of like him setting the scene, and then her coming out to to uh, to talk. I loved. I was going to do a reaction to the whole full live stream, but you know, I thought it's it's over an hour long, isn't it? And maybe not. I was going to do some uh, reactions because they've split some of the video, some of the songs up as well, haven't they? So I was going to do some reactions. Do you know what? I got too excited. I couldn't wait. I couldn't not watch the live stream. I'm going to be honest. She fucking nails the old songs. She absolutely nails the old songs. I think they're amazing. I really do. Um, how, as I said at the start, how the hell they kept all this quiet? I mean, they're not playing little backstreet venues. They're playing the O2. You know, they're playing big-ass venues. Um, there's only six dates, but how the hell they've kept this under wraps? I had no idea. I mean, I had literally... I mean, I'm not on any forums or anything like that, but I had zero, zero idea that they were getting back together. Never knew there was... a a new singer come in, never knew there was an album. I'm, I was like a kid at Christmas when this news came out. I was so excited. And I was even more happy that she can sing these fucking songs. And The Emptiness Machine is a fantastic song to come back with. I love it so, so much. I cannot wait for this album now. I am so excited. And um, I am going to try and get tickets. It's a little bit short notice for me because, you know, it's it's only a couple of weeks notice and it, it's just really probably not going to mesh with my uh, with my work situation. Um, but it's not going to stop me having to look for some tickets. That is for sure. Because, you know, if you click buy, I'll find a way. Um, but I don't know. They're going to sell out quick, man. They are going to sell out quick. Let me know if, uh, if you're watching this and you have managed to get tickets. Uh, I don't think they're on sale at the time of recording, but by the time you're watching, may well have been on sale. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to engage with you guys. Any Linkin Park fans out there, um, you know, no negative shit. I only want to hear from you if you're happy, to be honest, quite frankly. If you're not happy that the band are back together, that's fine. You don't have to like the fact that they've got they've reformed. You don't have to like the fact they've got a new singer. You don't even have to like the fact that she's a, you know, she's a woman. I don't care about any of that. They've got a new singer. The band are back together. They sound fucking awesome. That's all I care about. If you're, if you're with me on that, then feel free to jump in the comments. I cannot wait for this now um we've got new Linkin park it's they've waited long enough like i say seven years tragic as it is you know 20th of july it's always a day that breaks my heart all over again um to be fair 2024 was the first year that i didn't put a photo up on my uh, my personal instagram of chester just because i can't really even remember i was probably at work and tired and just totally slipped me by it's the first year and do you know what is it only famous person only musician only any that i can remember the date of his death i can't even remember the date of the death of some of my own family members do you know what i mean but for some reason this man just had that much of an effect on me um and on the world he's such an iconic frontman. can you imagine how nervous emily anderson would be getting up on that stage singing in front of how how they got that crowd in as well i have no idea if you were in that crowd let me know how did you know that was coming about was it was it the lp underground did they just invite some you know was it invite only or just let me know but can you imagine how nerve-wracking it would have been for her to get up and sing chester songs to those guys that must have been unbelievable and i mean as i say i've never heard of her can you imagine what it's going to be like for her now going out onto the o2 stage and all the other big stages they're playing on this tour oh man the adrenaline she is not going to sleep at all is she for the next few weeks um but Phenomenal. Cannot believe they're back. So, so excited that they are. I really want to get to this show because I'm hoping they might play a couple of other tracks from the album. Um, but yeah, jump in the comments and let me know if you're excited as well. And I've waffled way too long. This video's gone way too long. Like I say, it was a bit different. I didn't, I'd heard the song, so it wasn't really a reaction. I just wanted to get my points across, you know, and um, yeah, that is it for this one. Thank you as always for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.